When it comes to people who have passed along, we as humans have a pretty narcissistic uh, idea of what they do in the afterlife, if there is an afterlife. I'm still on the fence about that one. But let's assume there is an afterlife. This just shows how narcissistic we are. We assume that they watch everything we do, that if we ask for a sign, they stop everything they're doing to give us a sign, or they talk to us, or they hear us when we talk. And lastly, that when we die, they will be waiting for us the second we die. And I think probably that's not true. In fact, I would hope it's not true, because that's kind of shitty for the person who's dead. So wait a minute, I'm dead, I'm in heaven, but what? Now I gotta spend the next, how many years watching this dude take a crap, cry during movies, occasionally he'll talk to me, and he, oh, the only thing he ever says is, can you send me a sign? Like, how about a sorry? How about a sorry? <laughs> and then, and then when he dies, I got to stop everything I'm doing to go meet him. I think what really happens, I think that when you die, the people you love, they don't even know. Like, I imagine you die. You're like, what the hell? Am I dead? Ah, uh, pearly gates. That's a good sign, I guess. Let me just, where's St. Where's Peter? Well, they lied about that, but they got the pearly gates right, so let me just walk down this cobblestone of gold. I don't know why you need gold in heaven. Seems like a overkill anyway. Hello? Hello? Anyone? <laughs> And then I imagine you you stumble your way through heaven for like months. I'm saying months. And finally, you open up a door, and there's all your loved ones playing canasta. They're like, oh, oh, hey, when did you get here? Oh, a couple of months, huh? Hey, I thought you guys were supposed to meet me. Well, why would you think that? Like, I'm supposed to stop what I'm doing to meet your dumb ass? I knew you'd find us eventually, and you have all of eternity. So, yeah, and by the way, no, I haven't watched a single thing you did on Earth. I don't give a fuck. You know why? Because it turns out none of it matters. It's, it's a blip. It's a blip. It's like me watching your dreams. How stupid is that? Like, hey, how come you weren't watching my dreams? So, uh... You never came to me in my dreams then? All those times I thought it was you? No. But that's stupid. Why would I do that? So I'm going to not show up in a real Earth-like way. Instead, I'm going to come into your dreams where everything's all weird and confusing. That's just dumb on my part. Like, I need to send you this message, but oh, look, I'm all warped and distorted and I don't have words and dreams are mostly feelings anyway, so none of this matters. Anyway, my point is we got another seat at the canasta table because Ted just moved on to the next phase of whatever all this is. Turns out you die in heaven. So when I said eternity, I was lying. I was being, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? I should know because I'm in heaven. Um, you know, when you hyper, he's being hyperbolic. One of the perks of being in heaven is you can recall things easier. But it still takes some time, because after all, we are just humans? Are we humans? I don't know. I don't know anything about heaven. I don't even know who's talking in this. Is it me now? Is it the other person? I, 